Hello guys, welcome to Photographic Academy. All right, so today we are looking at something very, very interesting. So I'm going to show you how you can quickly retouch your outdoor images and achieve a consistent result across all your images, especially your outdoor images. This can work across every type of image provided it's outdoor. Yeah, the reason I said it's outdoor is because the color grading is more of an autumn color, color grading. So it's going to work on your wedding images, your outdoor birthday portrait, your modeling portrait, whatever it is you are doing, provided you have a lot of green grass behind your background, this action is for you and it's going to give you a very uniform result. So the beautiful part of this thing is that we are using two major action. We are using our done for you retouch action and a color grading action that we came up with that we've tried on images and it keeps giving a consistent result. So I said, okay, look, so let's quickly bring it down to YouTube and we are giving it to you for free to try out on your own outdoor images and see the amazing results you are going to be getting at the end of the day. So the catch of this whole stuff is that we are getting the action for free, the color grading action for free. If you also want to grab your done for you, just go to the description of the video and you will see the information you need there. So without wasting much of your time, let's quickly get started. So first of all, I'm quickly going to zoom in on the image. Yeah, I think she has quite a lot of texture and all of that. So we don't need to do a lot of uh, blemish remover and all that stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is to load up my, or rather, sorry, I'm going to crop. I'm going to crop. Yeah, let me just crop it from here. Nice one. So have a lot of greens to work with. Okay, so one of other things you can do quickly is just rush to your camera roll and just create a vignette effect just to bring the attentions attention towards your main image in the center. So this is not part of the action. This is a quick way of preparing your image for what we are about to do. So I'm going to run my done for you retouch. Okay, so done for you retouch. I'm going to play it and keep it somewhere at two. I will zoom in very closely to see how it handles the texture. Okay, so I think this is going to give us a very smooth result. If you want your own result to be, to retain more details, then I would advise you increase your radius, but I want to get a smooth image, so I'm going to be keeping it at 2.0. So let's see how that handles it. Whoa, 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 isn't this beautiful? This is so nice. Okay, so this is before, this is after, this is before, this is after. Trust me, you do not need to do any other thing on this image, especially being that it's a key, a high key image. So I'm just going to flatten this up so it doesn't interfere in what we're about to run. So here comes the magic action. I'm going to open up the group called Autumn and I'll quickly play the color green. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So I think you now understand why I had to create a vignette effect at the beginning. So we'll still have the attention dragging towards the middle of the image. So this is before. This is after. This is before. This is after. Amazing result that we have here. We already done. So you can just quickly do one or two things to your image and you are good to go so if i'm to work on this image right now just the only thing i want to improve is just to darken down the blacks a little just to bring in a little bit more contrast to the image just like that and a little bit of the shadows probably reduce the yeah i'll keep the highlight where it is and we are good to go this is pretty much a good result if you want a more shallow depth of field you can as well zoom in on your image you can as well rather Select your object and separate it from your background, then apply your field law just to give it that depth of field. Just to give it that depth of field. So with this, we are good to go. So we'll quickly just move over to the next image. Repeat the same process. Repeat the same process. So I'm going to repeat the process across all of them and I will show you the amazing result that that is going to give us. So this is more of a closer shot. So we need something around four. Yeah, somewhere around for to still maintain some ha some level of detail as to give us the smoothness we want. So quickly, you can retouch your image isn't done for you. Yeah, you don't need to do a lot of manual work. But trust me, this is for quick results. If you want to achieve something high end, you of course need to work manually. Okay, so let me show you the result. This is before, this is after. This is before, this is after. This is before, this is after. Look at the way it's giving us dimensions in the image, retaining the dodging and burning. So I'm not going to apply a vignette effect on this one because it's already a very tight close-up. So this does not really need a vignette effect 
unless in your artistic style you would want to do that so i'm going to just quickly play the action and wait for it to apply just like magic look at that look at that beautiful before after before after before after beautiful so i'm going to also repeat the same procedure excuse me yeah so i'm going to also repeat the same procedure i don't think i want to crop this image i like the way it's looking so i'm just going to still play my done for you retouch action over this one probably keep this one at three press ok whoa this is amazing let's see how that handles it all right so let's whoa amazing results so this is before this is after this is before this is after this is before this is after see the way it's taking care of the image so the only place i would want to do a little adjustment is on the nose so i'm just going to create a vignette create a mask rather reduce the brush to as low as four and just paint over the side of the nose like this just to make retain the dimension there and not lose it out entirely beautiful okay so i'm going to add a little here so we have a good result before after and after doing that just flatten your image and like we always do apply your autumn color effect i like the result this is giving me on my images the way it's blending the skin tone with the background it's really really amazing so the next thing i would want to do is probably to darken down the whole stuff let's see if that's going to work so just find place a curve adjustment layer above all of this let's see how that, that is going to handle it all right so i'm going to place it outside the group let's see if that works or probably just delete it create it above the group create it above the group and create a clipping mask okay so that still didn't give us the result we wanted so i guess if we want to darken down the background we need to separate her from the background so i'm going to apply this and rush down to my camera roll and just do a few adjustments just to bring more attention to the model so i'm going to reduce the highlight and notice the one over here is too high so i'm just going to reduce the highlight to kill things down a little beautiful add a little blacks a little shadow probably increase the highlight slightly nice then quickly go down to your effect and create a very tight vignette effect you can even decide to make the midpoint come closer and the roundness even become more rounded increase the highlights in those areas and of course reduce the vignette effect is too much here yeah, i think i like it like this so this is before this is after this is before this is after so we've successfully been able to even draw more attention to the image so quickly apply to the very to the second to the last one which is approximately the same thing we did here so i'm going to quickly apply it here and here at the same time so let me show you a very quick way you can you can keep this uh particular action working for you so what i'm going to do is i'm going to step this back by two yeah i'm, I'm going to step this back then go to the next one apply my done for you just quickly do that place your reduce at three all right so that is done properly done this is before this is after before after before after see the way it took care of those shadows and all of that so after doing your your done for you retouch action one of the fastest way you can apply that action that we'll be using to color grade is just to quickly go to the previous one that you didn't flatten and drag the group and place it over your new image and bam it gets applied flatten this now go to filter go to camera roll then click on these three dots over here and select apply previous settings so it's going to apply the settings we used for the last image we color graded here so i think my shadows need to be lifted slightly yeah something like that okay so have a good result here reduce the highlights very important my one press okay so i think my vignette effect is practically too much so i'm going to reduce that nice press okay so it's going to apply on the image immediately beautiful so we can also repeat the same process here we're going to go to my action load up my done for you retouch action and apply it quickly on my image keep your radius at five and press okay I'll apply quickly on this one let's see how that deals with it all right that is so beautiful so this is our before and after before and after so i'm quickly going to apply my action autumn 
make sure it's selected press play and wait for it boom it's done look at this so beautiful before after before after so like i said initially you are getting this action for free so make sure you download it and use it on your own images let's see how that works for you make sure you are subscribed to our youtube channel and not the notification bell that is on the notification bell to get notified every single time we we'll drop a new video thank you for watching this one and see you next time